a lot of Tesla owners are concerned with the discrepancy between promised uh, mileage and uh, the real mileage uh, that Tesla can uh, give you. So I have my hands on uh, Tesla Model Y and I also was very disappointed that the uh, miles that are promised usually do not um, match the miles that you can really drive. So I decided to make a um, few uh, tests where I would drive um, about 50 or 60 miles one way uh, on the highway uh, with the uh, uh, speed set for the autopilot uh, at different uh, maximum cap. So this particular uh, run would be at 80 miles per hour maximum. This is maximum that autopilot can allow on this model. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I started counting uh, the initial promised uh, miles, uh, what real uh, mileage will be, uh, what would be the consumption, uh, uh, what hour per mile, and uh, how long would it take uh, to drive at uh, 80 miles per hour maximum speed and uh, what how long it will take to drive at lower speed real life testing we're driving on the highway uh, in New England uh, 80 miles per hour is uh, above speed limit but it is uh, well below what uh, usually people drive here and police can see it and usually they do nothing about this and um, let's see what uh, would be the results uh, my understanding that as with uh, gasoline powered cars um, the speed will affect the consumption of the energy that is needed to push the car through the air and like stop and go and again this is real life uh, conditions uh, in this 60 mile run uh, it will be about uh, 50 miles of highway only and about uh, 10 miles uh, city driving so I will take the same route I am taking every morning and every evening and uh, run it with uh, different uh, uh, maximum speeds. Uh, let's see how it goes. We hit stop and go traffic. There are uh, traffic jam. Uh, we're close, like almost 10 miles left to the destination. So a lot of city traffic, a lot of traffic jams. And you can see that consumption per mile uh, decreased drastically and keeps decreasing so stop and go traffic actually consumes less energy in electric vehicle uh, in gas powered car it would be the time and place where the gas consumption would increase because of stop and go after multiple uh, runs like this i will uh, make a table uh, which will conclude uh, the experiment itself with all the details of multiple tests because just one run is not indicative of um, the destination. You can see the real mileage is uh, 56.4 uh, and the average consumption was 256 uh, watt hour per mile and this is the amount left and we started with 200 93 uh, expected miles. And finally, these are results of the multiple uh, runs. First of all, uh, real mileage is 57 miles one way. 57. All the runs was 57 miles. Uh, experiment was at 60 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour. And just one run was very fast. I cannot tell you, I do not want to tell you what was the real speed, but I was moving with the flow that was going um, unreasonably fast and um, uh, people shouldn't do this, but I think a police on the road saw this and they just 
didn't want to stop the whole left lane moving at uh, unreasonable, unreasonably high speed. But that's the <clears throat> that's the result. First, let's look at 60 miles per hour. Uh, at 60 miles per hour, the car thought that uh, it requires 55 estimated miles. So less than was the real mileage. And uh, the consumption was uh, 221 watt per hour, uh, watt hour per mile. And uh, uh, the road one way, 57 miles, was taking about one hour, 21 minutes. Uh, if I drove with the flow at 80 miles per hour on the left lane, the car was using 65 estimated miles instead of 57. And it was consuming 259 uh, watt hour per mile. And uh, the average time was about one hour, 16 minutes. Since I did these runs many, many times, I was able to average everything, but I would like to tell you that there is very uh, big variety of the times and these times more dependent on uh, traffic jams, if you get into them or not, and not on the really the fastest speed uh, that you can drive on the highway. But average times was difference only five minutes, five minutes in the... Uh, five minutes faster you can come uh, to your destination if it is 57 miles away, but you will consume um, uh, 10 more estimated miles than if you go with a reasonable uh, speed limit of 60 miles per hour. And finally, this is the, uh, since it's New England, a lot of uh, traffic is going very fast and sometimes the whole left lane moves in at um, really fast. I, I would just tell you it is way faster than 80 miles per hour. And Tesla consumed 74 estimated miles instead of 57. And uh, the consumption was 290 watt hour per mile. And the uh, road took one hour, seven minutes. So these are the numbers. You can look at them again and decide for yourself. First of all, the conclusion, uh, Tesla does not lie that it can um, make these so-called EPA uh, things because the estimate miles were even uh, better than the real mileage. But if you go with the uh, flow, in New England, you will definitely uh, not be able to meet uh, uh, estimate, like expectations that uh, Tesla is making. And I think I found what is the problem with all my gasoline cars. As soon as you start driving at, um, let's say, some kind of speed, um, within maybe a few minutes, uh, the car recalculates how many miles your gasoline will last. This is not the case with Tesla. Every morning it starts estimating that you have this amount of miles, no matter what, no matter how you drove day before. Uh, it still does not adjust its expected mileage uh, to your uh, uh, drive style. So it all the time overestimate its mileage if you drive too fast and underestimate if you drive slow. So uh, that probably the flaw that uh, Tesla has, that it does not adapt its calculations to your uh, drive style. But um, uh, the punchline is that... Uh, its estimated miles can be matched if you drive with the speed no more than 60 miles per hour. Uh, I hope it was a bit clarification. For me, it was a big um, eye-opening clarification because when I started driving car 
with the uh, left lane, with the flow of the left lane, and I saw that the mileage estimated miles were consumed way more than is the real miles I drove. It really disappointed me. And after doing this experiment with multiple runs, now I know the answer. Uh, I hope it helped you. Bye.